Hi everyone, I am back with a haul video. Um, I have a small haul from Tuesday morning. I'll go ahead and get started. Um, I bought this Martha Stewart's craft glue and it was only 99 cents. And the reason why I chose this is because I wanted something with a fine tip and that's not really fine, like it's not needlepoint fine, but it is, you know, small enough. And it looks like the glue's already gelatinous on the inside, so I don't know if it's going to end up working. But for 99 cents, I really liked um, the idea of being able to use it. And if I end up liking it, I might uh, transfer some other glues that I have, like a matte medium. Might be good for this one. Um, I have this Liquitex bottle that just kind of squirts it all out and I might just want to use it for uh, adhering small embellishments or something. So I got that and then I also got this um, retractable craft knife for $2.99 and this one comes with a uh, blade inside and it comes with two more so like a dollar each would I would think. Anyway I grabbed it and I thought that was a good um, deal. I also grabbed this um, Kiss Kiss and Resin Heart Brads and I didn't have these and I can't seem to find the die cuts everybody's finding but um, I found these and these were just a bunch of flowers so that's an example of a few of them but um, it has 24 pieces and they're different flowers. Then I also found uh, some sticky thumb tape. I'm not in the I'm not shopping around for for um, tape runners because I usually use my ATG but sometimes it's good to have these uh, when you don't want to feel like carrying around the big gun. Uh, I got the this punch because I've been wanting this one. I do like the way it punches out. There's something about punches um, and the accessibility of them and not having to pull out the uh, silhouette. It just kind of I gravitate towards that. The other uh, things that I got are these uh, thickers. They're chipboard sets, and this is a magpie. And um, it, I guess that's the name of the color. No, it's not. It doesn't say what color it is or what color it comes in. Usually it used to, like on the back right here. But anyway, it has a, it's pink, and then it's got soft white polka dots. So I got it in the pink and I also got it in the blue and I like these because then um, the foam if it gets too old it starts sticking really bad to the back and I don't I take my time usually using thickers so um, I really like these and these are good for um, baby pages they look like it or spring or Easter whatever you know and then the last one that I got, that being said, with the foam, I did end up picking up a foam set. But I love the length and the color of them. These are called Stylist. And these look like they're a bit older, I think. I'm not too sure. These come in a charcoal gray. This is the kind of gray I like. I really like this color gray. And these are were all $1.99. So I picked up those stickers. And then the last thing that I got at um, Tuesday morning was... Uh, this uh, opaque sticks set it says it's water-based pigment markers and they're from Marvi Uchida I think that's how you say it. Uchida I don't know but anyway um, they're kind of like bullet point markers and the uh, point is pretty rigid but it says that you can write on slick surfaces and um, if the and uh, let me see if I can get some better lighting. There we go. Might change the color, sorry. But um, that's what they look like written. And that's the white. It comes out clear, but then it changes color. It's pretty cool. Um, once it dries, it starts changing color. Um, so that's that white pen. It says it writes on photographs too, So, uh, but not that great, I found. At least not mine. They're acid free and not toxic too. And I just wanted to try them out. I saw them on there, I thought they were interesting. So there's another. If I don't end up liking them, I can give them to my kids. Um, and I'll come back with a Hobby Lobby haul. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.